Are you ready to make something cool in Blender? Hey everybody, this is the sixth video in the Blender tutorial series. My name's Joe. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you just a couple of little things that you need to know to enable you to make things in Blender well. And then I'm gonna cut you loose to make something all your own. Do you wanna build a snowman? <laughs> Now, to begin with, we need to thank Suzanne for all of the, the hard work that she's put in here because Suzanne has been a wonderful teaching tool because she looks different from the front and side and whatever angle we look at her from. But we don't really need Suzanne for this project, so it's time to clear the scene. So select everything in the scene and clear it out however you want to do that. And with that scene clear, let's add in a mesh and we can add either one of these spheres, UV spheres or ICO spheres. Hopefully you've had a chance to look at these and decide which one you like. For this project, I like ICO spheres because I like triangles. <laughs> okay, so whenever you add an object in Blender, notice in the upper right hand side of the Blender window, this is called the outliner view and it has the list of all the objects in the scene, but it's just listing it based on what it is, icosphere. And if, if we build a snowman with lots of spheres, we're gonna have icosphere, icosphere, icosphere. We need something maybe that, that will enable us to tell which one's which and what they do. We basically just wanna, we just wanna rename this object. And there's a couple of ways that we can do that in Blender. Now, one way that we can do it is actually in the outliner view. If you double click on the name there, you see you can edit it and we can type this in. Now, this is gonna be my snowman's base. I'm going to call it base, or maybe I'll call it snowman base or snow woman base, snow person, <laughs> whatever you want to name it. You can do that. Now this is the base, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to scale it up and then looking at things from the front view, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. And I'm going to imagine that that red line is like the ground level and the snow is sinking into it a little bit. So there we go. I've got my base sphere where I want it. And it's time to add a second sphere into here. Now, you, immediately you might notice a problem. In fact, I'm going to move my other sphere down just a little bit to make this problem even worse. But you can't see the sphere that we've added. It's completely hidden inside this first sphere. So how do we get at it? Well, one way is that outliner view. Do you see that in that outliner view? We have an icosphere and we can click it. And when we click it in the 3D view, we've got the outline of that shape selected. So that's great. We can do it that way. And while we've got it selected, we need to rename it, but we're going to do that in a different way too. How do we do that? Well, in the 3d view, you can just press just like renaming a file in windows F2. So F2 is to keep change the object name. And I'm going to call this one snowman body. Now, this is pretty good. In fact, you know, while I've got it selected, I can still scale it up. I can move it up and I can put it where it belongs. And that's, that's pretty good, but we're going to need to do this again. So let's add another mesh and a sphere in here. But this time I want you to select off of it. So we can't select it. Oh no, it's gone. You know, what would be really useful to have. It would be really useful if we could have Superman's X-ray vision, that we could see through the objects and see what's inside of them. Well, we kind of have that in Blender. You can change your view into something that has X-ray vision, and here's how we do it. In the upper right-hand side of the 3D view, you'll see some icons, and they all kind of look like spheres of different kinds. The one that's highlighted just looks like a big white dot, but the one next to it looks like a you know, a sphere with lines on it. If we click on that one, we switch over to wireframe mode and now we can see through everything and we can select that sphere right there. Oh, I forgot to rename it. So I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it snowman head. Make sure you rename yours however you want to do it. And now that we're in wireframe mode, we can still do all the same things that we could do before. So I can move it around and line everything up, but you need to be careful. Sometimes, sometimes in wireframe mode, you get the idea of where things are, but they aren't 
they aren't quite where you expect them to be so it's always good to switch back to solid mode now you can do that with the the solid icon button in the upper right hand view just like that or we're going to switch back and forth a different way and here's how we do it the hot key for this is on your keyboard z just z not control z shift just z and when you press it this cute little menu pops up right wherever your mouse is and you'll see that we have the four different icons and the four different types of views that are the same as the icons in the upper right hand side so you just move your mouse over towards wireframe and click and we're in wireframe mode and then z move your mouse to solid and click and we're in solid mode isn't that kind of neat I, I dig that and now I can see that my head's sticking up a little too far I want my I want my snow person to be just a little bit stocky but there we go so now you guys know how to change the view and be able to see through things now I do want to show you another form of x-ray and teach you something else so we're going to add one more sphere in any kind that you like okay and you can see it there it's selected let's rename this one eye because this is going to be our eye and so being an eye we're going to need to scale it down but uh, it'd be easier if we could see it right up top in the upper left hand view of the 3d view where you have those those view icons one to the left of it there's one that looks like a cube that i don't know it's kind of an extruded cube but it's got dots in it so go ahead and click that and we are now in x-ray mode it's still solid view but we can kind of kind of see through things and if you click off of everything and try clicking on our new sphere you'll notice you don't select it at first you you selected the sphere that's on top of it but if you click again you'll select down into it so you kind of can drill down into nested things that are inside each other just by click 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 clicking away whereas if you go to wireframe mode so change your view to wireframe mode you'll notice that if you try to click on the bigger sphere but you click between the blocks where you know your pointer essentially is clicking on the grid behind it you don't select on anything but you have to actually click on the object and there you go you've got it selected so that's how wireframe lets you select things but if we go back to solid mode with x-ray on you kind of you sometimes have to click things twice to get to them but it still works and so there we go we've got our we've got our eye selected and we want to scale that eye down make it very small move it up to the head approximately where it belongs and then move it to where it belongs on the head and i'm going to turn off x-ray view so i can see that oh my eye's sticking out way too far and it's too big i'm going to make it just a little bit smaller and put it just where i want it on the head now here's the thing i get this eye perfect i get this eye the right size and and where i want it and now i need to make a second eye but i'm going to be fighting the fact that i want this eye to be exactly the same as the other eye and i'm going to be scaling them and, and it's going to be frustrating instead what if we could just make a second eyeball that's exactly like this one well, we can with the duplicate command. How do we do that? Well, there's a hotkey for it. You go up to the object menu, and then there is a duplicate object, so it's Shift D. Ooh, Shift D, didn't expect that. Okay, Shift D, and now there's a new eye, and you can press, well, you can move it around, and you can constrain the movement just with the hotkey. So I'm hitting X to constrain the movement to move it over, and then click to drop it in, or you can just click to drop it wherever it is so i'm going to delete this eye to show you again click the first eye shift duplicate and then just click and then you can use the gimbal or whatever you want to move it wherever you want at that point but notice in the outliner one is called eye and the other one is called i001 that's not bad but it might be good to at this point rename one of them i right and the other one i left or left eye and right eye i like to name things so that they line up in alphabetical order so that's why i first and then left but you can say left eye right eye it doesn't matter you can move things around in the outliner however you want so you have control uh have you saved <laughs> we need to save frequently to make sure we're not losing anything and the way that we do this is you go to file save i have to do save as but save for the first time and then where do you put it now 
a lot of people just go, well, I'll just put it on my desktop and put it there. But okay, if you're not used to Windows and you're not used to file folders and, and putting things in an organized manner, the least you should do is on the top here, click create a new directory. And then I'm going to name that new directory uh, 3D projects. And then put all of your 3D projects at least in that directory in the same place. But if you're better organized than that, then that's fine. Be sure to hit save as, save your snowman. And there we go. We've got, we've got our saved snowman. And we're going to want to save frequently as we're going. Now remember, under file, there's a hotkey for saving. Control S. So just kind of get used to hitting that every time you do something useful. Now at this point, you've learned... Well, really, you've learned everything that you need to be able to do this project. So go to your homework is to build a snowman and make it your snowman. Maybe you say, you know what? I, I want my bottom, my, my base one to be smaller than the body. I want it to have a big body. Or maybe you decide, you know, I want it to have three noses that sticks out in different directions or horns or, or whatever. I just want you to go to town, add new objects, place them in the right places, and make your snowman however you want. Express yourself with this. And if you'd like to, I would love to see your snowman. I'm on Mastodon, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Discord. And I love it when people reach out and show me the cool things that they've made, especially the snowmen that they've made. This will be your first project that you're just kind of going and making on your own. So go to do a good job and i can't wait to see what you do as always remember you are a child of god and you're special to me so take care of yourself and if you can take care of somebody else too because we all need each other i will see you in the next video